All right, you guys, no intro today. I am still sick, <laughs> so I'm gonna talk as little as I can. So first off, for the Unguilty Pleasures collection, this is Snooze In. This is described as a warm pinky coral with yellow undertones. This is a gorgeous two-coater, and it's probably my least favorite from this collection. I don't really love this color of orange on my skin tone, but it's still beautiful, and I bet it's going to look beautiful on many of you. And then here is a swatch in different lighting. So we have the studio lights, and then the worst lighting ever, just like normal indoor lighting, what you will see on a daily basis. And then getting into comparisons. So any comparison polishes that are currently available at Amazon, I put an A next to those. And then any polishes that are currently available at Beyond Polish, I put an asterisk next to those. So getting right into the comparisons. Here we have Essie Gel Couture Coastal Couture, Essie Set in Sandstone, and Essie Hostess with a Mostess. So you can see how those compare. And you guys, I'm just gonna roll right through these. Then we have Essie Claim to Flame, Essie Spring Awakening and Essie Expressy All Things 000. Next up here we have Essie Tarte Deco, Essie Madrid for the Gram, and Essie Peach Side Babe. Next up we have Essie Stones and Roses, OPI Corralling Your Spirit Animal, and OPI El Matadoring You. And then last but not least, here we have Essie Frilly Lilies compared to Snooze and See, so you can see how those compare. All right, my fave from the collection. This is Caught in the Rain. This is such a gorgeous polish. This is described as a muted neutral sage green with gray undertones. And the gray undertones just makes this even that much better than every other sage green that I own. <laughs> so this is a two-coater lovely formula. It applies like glass. <laughs> And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. It looks gorgeous in any lighting. And then getting right into comparisons. Here we have SE Parka Perfect, SE Belief in Yourself, and Morgan Taylor So Check It. Next up here we have SE Expressy Just for Kicks, SE Bon Voyage, and SE Jade It Happen. Then we have SE Turquoise and Caicos, SE Maximilian Strasser and Essie Gel Couture Bring Down the House. Next up, we have Essie Expressy in the Modem, Essie Mint Condition, and Essie Gel Couture Sage You Love Me. And then here we have, again, in the Modem, Sage You Love Me, and then Now in Zen. And then here we have Olive Ab Zinc compared to Caught in the Rain. All right, guys. <laughs> Another fave, this is Unguilty Pleasures. Unguilty Pleasures is a gorgeous one to two coater. This is described as a rich teal green with blue undertones. You guys have to get your hands on this one. It's gorgeous. And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. And then comparisons. Here we have Essie Bustling Bazaar, Essie Naughty Nautical, and Essie Off Tropic, so you can see how those compare. Then here we have Essie Stripes and Sails, Essie Transcend the Trend, and Essie Expressy Up, Up, and Away Message. And then here we have Essie Garden Variety and Essie Expressy Street Wear and Tear. I would say Street Wear and Tear is pretty gosh darn close, but maybe one half a shade darker. And then next up we have OPI My Dog Sled is a hybrid. Olive Ab Ironic and SE Loose Sight of Reality, so you can see how those compare. All right, moving right along. Another fame from this collection. This is To Me From Me. This is described as a softened deep indigo blue with white undertones. This is a gorgeous one to two coater. It's fabulous. It's another must have. And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. And then moving on to comparisons, here we have Essie Flair for Fun, Essie Amuse Me, and Essie Carols in Caviar. Next up, we have Essie Anchor Down, Essie Study Tips, and Essie You're a Natural. Then we have Essie Revenge is a Beach, Essie Expressy Air Dry, and Essie Expressy Lose the Snooze. And last but not least, we have Zoya Lou, Olive Ave Cerulean, and Morgan Taylor tailored for you so you can see how all of those compare. 
Next up is this gorgeous deep coffee brown with red undertones. This is no to do and this is another gorgeous polish, another two coater, another fabulous formula. And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. And moving right along to comparisons, here we have China Glaze My Broomstick Runs on Coffee, China Glaze Brew That, and OPI Chronological Order. Next up, we have Zoya Dion, OPI You Don't Know Jock, and OPI Brown to Earth, so you can see how those compare. Next up is Essie Expressi Midday Mocha, Essie Jocature All Checked Out, and Essie Don't Be Chocolate. And then here we have Essie Mink Muffs. Essie Truth or Bear, and Essie Expressy Take the Espresso. Last but not least for these browns, we have Essie Fun Fair Festive, Essie Partner in Crime, and Essie Slay It, so you can see how those compare. If you guys have made it this far, I love you guys. Thank you for listening to my terrible voice. <laughs> um, last but not least, we have Home by A. This is described as a faded soft black with red undertones. This does have kind of a purple vibe to it. It's another two-coater that applies like butter, and it's a must-have. This is another fave of mine from this collection. And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. And getting right into comparisons, here we have Essie Hazy Days, Essie Sights on Night Lights, and Essie Kimono Over. Next up, we have Essie Licorice, Essie Smoking Hot, and Essie Winning Streak. Moving right along, we have Essie On Mute, Essie Generation Zen, and Essie Can't Hardly Wait. And then we have OPI Lincoln Park After Dark, Orly Feeling Foxy, and Essie No More Film, and last but not least, drum roll please, Essie After School Boy Blazer, Essie Carry On, and then I threw in No To Do here so you can see how those compare. All right, love you guys. Have an amazing Thanksgiving. Bye.